July 24, Path of Exile released a patch note that improved the graphic and gameplay and also gave us few options to improve the performance of the game. I think it is a good chance to talk about how settings affect frames per second. Hello guys, I'm Fa. Today we will talk about how to improve your frame per second. This video will cover all methods that I know to improve your frame per second. Here is my PC spec. So all my tests is based on my specs. Leave a comment below if you get different result. We will start from the patch note before we talk about how to improve your frame per second. First, they fix something and add something. Just make it simple. When you use a skill, the lightning will show on the nearby, on the ground, on the on the clip, on the wall, something like that. I'm not sure if it's good or not. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. You can go to the graphic settings. Set lightning as shadow default. If you like it, you can set lightning as shadow plus global illuminations. So they say they improved the base GPU system. I, I did feel some change. I feel a little bit lag compared with last uh, versions before update for the first 10 seconds when I get into the map. So after everything is fine, uh, maybe first few maps you will feel that, but it's not too bad. They add something like triple buffering and double buffering. So now I'm using double buffering because my latency is not stable always. And it's a for best latency. I did try triple or double. I cannot tell what different for now. They are also add two more options for VSync. Now we got off, lock, fast, adaptive. I always using off before, but I try adaptive today because the game recommended, right? So it's actually working good. Here is the gameplay with the adaptive. When I get into the map, I saw Deridium. I think this map must be so lag, but it's not. It's smoother than I talk. So I will keep racing as adaptive for now. So let's talk about how graphic setting affect frame per second. We will talk about it one by one from top to bottom. Display, you have to select your best graphic cards on your PC. Mode, I prefer window full screen. Window is so weird for me. Full screen will cause lag when alt tap and very often and it annoys me a little bit. Resolutions depend on your monitor. Mo my monitor's resolution is uh, 1920 multiply 1080. High resolution make gameplay look better and also will make FPS lower. We will talk about how to check your screen's resolutions later when we talk about foreground FPS. Renderer is a huge mistake to put DirectX 11 as default, switch to DirectX 12 or Vulkan will improve your FPS instantly. Vulkan is automatically installed by GPU drivers if it's supported. DirectX uh, basically come from the Microsoft window. It will be updated when Windows scan is need to be. To make sure you already have DirectX 12, you can search with start on bottom right window icon. Input DXT IAG to select the software. It show the versions of DirectX currently. Foreground FPS cap. This setting related your screen's refresh rate. We also call hers. Refresh rate decide how many pictures your screen can display in one second. To check your screen's refresh rate, you will go into right click on your desktop, select display setting, select advanced display setting, click on the refresh rate. Make sure you have select the highest refresh rate. FPS in game higher than your screen's refresh rate is wasted because the game running 150, but your screen only display 60. If your screen's refresh rate is below 240 hertz, you should switch VSync to off or fast and enable foreground FPS cap. Set it close to your screen's maximum refresh rate. Background FPS cap 
limited your FPS when you alt tab or you are on another software, it doesn't matter. Detail setting is uh, very simple. The lower quality, the higher frame per second. I don't really care about quality because I don't really look at the gameplay. I always focus on map and loot. So it doesn't matter to me and I always keep all detail lowest. But if you really want to know and help me talk about it, you can let me know below comment. Maybe we will talk about it in the future. Engine multi threading you will never set this as disabled. If you did, your game will instantly crash and unplayable. Enable allow more than single core GPU to run the game. Disable will force your PC only use one core GPU to run the game instead of maximum 12 core for my specs. Networking mode is another factor to affect your frame per second. I use auto for a long time. I'm not sure how good or how bad it is. So we will talk about lockstep and predictive. Lockstep will cause your frame per second drop when your ping is high. Your screen will freeze when your ping is really high. People say lockstep can save your character, but I don't think so. Except you instantly quit the game, it might have a chance. Predictive, it will make your game more smooth, but sometimes weird. You will hit the monster with no damage and also teleport backward when you use your mobility skill too fast, it will happen sometimes. So just simply talk about how to improve your frame per second. Hopefully it helped and also it simple enough. Yeah, give me a like, uh, subscribe if you think my video is help. Thanks for watching. So anyway, uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.